Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a smart suite implementation partner. Now, when you're building your no-code solutions, you're going to want to make sure that your team has the right amount of access to everything that they need. And SmartSuite makes this really easy by using their flexible roles and permissions. When you invite new members to your team, you're going to assign a workspace role. You're going to want to limit that account administrator because those folks can do essentially anything inside your system. Most of your team is going to be general access so they can create and edit records, but they don't actually need to create their own solutions. But for maybe managing folks in your company or the creative types who you want to be able to create new solutions, we've got the solution creator where they can actually edit solutions and be able to create new ones. And we also have guest access. As a guest, let's say I'm a contractor in the system and I have records that are assigned to me, certain tasks that I need to get done. I can click that task and open it up. I can read information about it, but it is read only. I can't actually update these fields with the exception of the status, which lets me update this so that I can reflect back to the team what I'm actually working on. One of the easiest ways to manage access is through teams. We're able to create different ones, implementations, sales, marketing. And when I click on this, I can add different members to that team so that as employees join and leave the company, I don't have to constantly be updating permissions for each solution that I have. Instead, I can just remove them from the team and the team continues to have access to what they need to inside of the system. We can set permissions at the solution level. So I can click up here, choose permissions. By default, all my members have full access, but I could say, actually, I only want to have my implementations team have access to these tasks because they're the ones working on this. I can also use advanced permissions to say only certain people can do certain things. And we've got lots of different granular roles that we can assign to be able to say who can do what. Can they only view certain records? Could they be a commenter on records? Could they be editors or have full access? We can also assign permissions at the app level. So maybe on my invoices, I don't want everybody to have access. And from here, I could configure the permissions to say only certain individuals would have access to this and what kind of access that they might have. And we can even get a level more granular than that by saying at the field level, maybe there's certain things we don't want the team to see. So maybe this hourly rate, we don't wanna share those rates with the team. And I can go ahead and click on the edit field permissions. And this we can determine who can actually see the field versus who can edit the data inside of that field as well. As you can see with different levels of these permissions plus roles, plus teams, we've got so much flexibility when it comes to managing your team and what they can see and do inside a smart suite.